What is it the change of scenery and what implication has on your photography when you change the location and the surroundings let's see it together hello everybody welcome back to the channel thomas love here from beautiful vancouver british columbia and today i want to tell you a story about changing locations here and there because we are all passionate about traveling and I traveled oh so much in the last 20 years, 30 years. I think I visited something like 80 countries more or less, maybe someone more, but it is not a given. It takes time and effort and motivation and a lot of energy so this is why right now i'm a bit more stable here in vancouver despite this is gonna change soon as well and uh, stay tuned because i will keep you posted about it but let's go back about traveling i started traveling when i was a young kiddo i lived to the fullest my dad had a volkswagen van the one that maybe resonates with you if you're familiar with the hippies and so we were going everywhere with that van and i visited all the countries in Europe so by the age of 15 I had already visited something like 20 countries and the experience I had interacting with other people it was always towards the outside because the world is such a welcoming and beautiful place and I wanted to take the best out of it and so when I started traveling alone by myself I got myself like an APS-C Canon that was a uh, uh, for a steal at the time and then I started collecting my portfolio of stock photos which are still online and they still pay for gas every now and then but stock photos were just a good start because that means that you have time that you don't have recognizable people recognizable brands so basically you're shooting landscapes or macro or details anyway or food and so that's what I focused on I started focusing on landscapes and on food and so from project every now here and then also Google hired me to shoot some photos of the museums they wanted to have because they were willing to fulfill this project with museums and so I started traveling on purpose on assignment for Google and that was a fun part of my life because I had several different projects to tune into whether it was for food before we had like skip the dishes or DoorDash, all the restaurants wanted to have the delivery so photos of their dishes so they hired me for that some landscapes and then i wanted eventually to evolve my photography i switched to full frame and i got my nikon which i loved oh so much but technology back then was not so advanced and so cameras and camcorders were big and bulky and so traveling required a very good effort and for that very reason i started traveling by motorbikes because if you can take your gear with you inside the panniers is less of a weight you have on your shoulders but then when you want to have a longer radius because maybe you are visiting uh, countries that are very far away like southeast asia or south america you want to go backpacking and so for a few months for a few years i was backpacking and so i had to go back and be minimalistic with my gear and so every time that you change scenery and you change location and you change projects you also need different gears and you are witnessing and making different experiences and these experiences all together are part of your luggage because the photographer that you are right now comes after years of shooting landscape food weddings street photography every new project you are working on will have an impact on the way you're shooting and so when i turned 40 and my wife gifted me this beautiful leica i started experiencing photography in a totally different way again because with the leica as well as with rangefinder like the little pixie 
you are maybe from time to time zone focusing. I'm teaching street photography and teaching night photography here in Vancouver. And then eventually I started this YouTube channel and I, I can feel that a few years journey is about to be completed with the next steps which I'm discussing later on so stay tuned and so I lived in different cities in my life I lived in Milan I lived in Geneva I lived in Paris in Boston Massachusetts in Panama City and then finally in Vancouver and I'm about to change again when you are in your 20s and in your 30s you have a lot of time and a lot of energy and so I lived to the fullest and started traveling with the mentality that I had from the 80s. I was born in 1980 and so the mentality, the gear, the thing that you want to have with you are the ones that I grew up with. And so when I started shooting, I started shooting with cameras that were resonating with me and the way I was taking pictures and videos back then. But right now it's a totally different technology and so uh, when I was backpacking and evolved I stayed true to the rhythm of the 80s sorry I'm here double checking because I have some notes on my molly skin so as you can see this is coming from the 80s as well it's just some notes and this is how I tell a story because Vancouver is overwhelming its beauty the people it's changing at a very fast pace and I live every here and there and going back to the roots we say that all streets lead to Rome why because your path can take twists and turns but your direction in life is always headed to where you are supposed to go and so it's like some ancestral is some core in our soul it's like when you hear a drum beating rather than a piano or a violin. A drum is much more strong the way it involves you, right? And it's resonating with the core in your... Here, I'm tapping on the microphone, sorry guys. And so when you dress yourself with the camera and the prime lens, then you are much more resonating to drums you look into people's eyes and we used to say that eyes are door to the soul and so you are able to capture the essence and to tell a story out of a single frame by the way you are doing it and so i'm going around with my leica which is a prime lens by definition because 28 mm cannot be removed from the q2 and with the moleskin and the pen and this is everything i need when i'm traveling and then eventually i started approaching monochrome monochrome is good because monochrome you can have and try and exercise your zone focusing if you're using either the leica or even little pixie and then you focus on the framing but monochrome and zone focusing i love it particularly because you focus on the outside so what's going on in the world why I think at least this is my feeling, my sensation that modern cameras are more something to be focused in, into them, in the inner, because you're focusing in the EVF, you're focusing inside the menu because you want to double check that all the options, the AF tracking, the balancing, whatever, whatever, it's into the menu, you are looking inside the camera and then when you are home, you have to download your super duper huge raw files because now you're shooting with a 100 megapixel camera and so you are into the computer again, looking in there. So it's inward, it's like something that doesn't approach people, but I'm a people person and I love to have a look outside to what's going on in the world and so this is why I love particularly shooting with Leica and with range finder in general. Good cameras will keep you looking outside because if there's no IBIS, if there's no AF and if there's no post-production to be done, that's only life. So that's life you are focused on and so you can be as well a people person looking outside what's going on the scene what do you want to portray and what story do you want to tell so this is how one lens only was born and i might not be a guru in photography but i have this tendency to do better which is learn creation direct expression of myself and of the world i want to do better and so with the 
change that is about to happen a new chapter and new stories are about to be told of course the approach to photography will always be the same i will be always telling stories about street photography but the ambience all around will change and so basically we are getting more stimuli at least different stimuli and at least for the next few months guys this is gonna be a european summer so please stay tuned and let me know what was the story and your evolution and your photography how it changed whether you started from traveling or from wedding or from products or from uh, real estate photography where are you going to and what is the camera that you're using and please also let me know if you think as well the technology gets you have a look to the inner side of photography while maybe you love the outside world as well and so stay focused on that so with that i hope you got some value out of this video if you did please remember to like it share it on your social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new reviews to come and i guess i will see you later thank you bye bye